The topic of my presentation is lumbar Scheumann conservative treatment allows a proper vertebral body growth and spinal configuration, a case series. As we know, lumbar Scheumann is an atypical localization of Scheumann disease. It has been a little studied, and very few is known about its natural history and uh, most of all about its conservative treatment. And at the moment, we have a lot of questions. Are braids more useful than physical exercises? Are there indications for braids? Are there radiographic or clinical cutoff? Are braids useful to improve clinical and radiographic outcomes? And if we choose which, um, brace treatment, how to manage it? Unfortunately, uh, we, haven't, we have a few answers in the literature. A review on Scheumann disease reveals many shortcomings and gaps on scientific knowledge and evidence. According to a paper, intensive rehabilitation seems to have a positive effect on pain. And according to another paper, brace treatment appears to provide modest correction of interesting Scheumann cathosis in some cases, while surgery appears to be the only way to significantly improve the cathodic deformity associated with Scheumann disease. But uh, actually, we haven't specific studies on lumbar Scheumann cathosis brace treatment. In our experience, we observed a case of uh, girls that refused to embrace treatment, and uh, after eight years, we observed a progressive worsening of plumb line distance, and this picture show uh, very bad aesthetic results. This is the uh, lateral X-rays of these girls that showed also a progressive worsening about her lumbar cubing. So the aim of this study was to verify the efficacy of a brief treatment of lumbar Scheumann disease on radiographic and clinical parameters. We observed retrospectively 13 patients and seven of them were treated with bracing and physical exercises. Seven breast patients presented at the beginning of the study back pain, lumbar kephosis, and the radiographic sign of Scheumann disease, such as vertebral and plate irregularity, diminished anterior vertebral growth, premature disc degeneration, and small nodes. As outcome criteria, we considered the disappearance of back pain, clinical and radiographic reduction of lumbar kephosis, that is to say, the increase of lumbar cubingal and the increase of T12 and L3 plumb line distance. We evaluated also the vertebral body reconstruction with a real proposed by SOME that evaluated the anterior mid middle vertebral body compression by the ratio of the anterior vertebral head to the posterior vertebral head. We proposed to our person a lapadular brace with a custom-made plastic LSO with a median frontal clasp. The, the abdomen was built in a dosis, and anteriorly it wraps the chest from the submammary line to the groin, and posteriorly it extends from T5 to the buttocks. It is built with a direct push on the lumbar cathosis apex. All patients started treatment with a 23 or 20 hours day of brace, and they reached the end of treatment after on average 2.5 years. Two patients are still in treatment. We performed a statistic analysis, and this is our results. We observed a significant increase about the T12 and L3 mean change, and uh, for both plumb line distance, we observed an improvement of 10 millimeters in 57% of patients. We haven't worsened patients. Also about lumbar coming mean change, we observed a um, significant increase with 71% of patients that improved over five COP degrees. And also for lumbar commingle, we have antiversonate patients. Um, about vertebral body reconstruction, we observed a very good uh, body reconstruction with a significant increase about the mean anterior middle column vertebral body compression. And these lateral X-rays show this uh, progressive vertebral body reconstruction during the year. These lateral X-rays are about a patient that is still in treatment, and we can observe that during the year, just in the first phase of treatment, we have a good vertebral body reconstruction. 
So at the moment, uh, we, n- we don't know the natural history of the lumbar schoyman to correct and understand our results. And uh, uh, radiographic and clinical follow-up shows best improvement in the first phase of treatment. We observed also that the patient looked compliant, even if they removed the brace rapidly, so it would go to result. So these uh, features led us to make other questions. Is the first fit crucial for outcome? Is a shorter period sufficient to correct lumbar Scheumann? And uh, breast winning should be managed in a different way with respect to scoliosis. Conclusion. Breeze can correct effectively lumbar Scheumann, allowing a proper lumbar vertebra body growth, but further studies are needed to understand proper management of a spore study pathology. Thank you. <laughs>